Alrighty guys, we have just made it down here. We're going in, we're in Illinois. Back behind a hog farm. I was actually about to buy a property a mile up the road. This deer that we're hunting is probably on that same property I was gonna buy. It was like a 28 acre track. Beautiful, but then it sold for too high. Beautiful. Dude, it smells like shit. <laughs> but the stand's probably 500 yards that way. Let's go ahead and pop a picture of the 10 we're after. This is like 150 inch 10 point, old, old mature deer. And then, sorry Tanner, but there's a 185 inch deer in here. He's probably tired of hearing this, but he's actually already missed this deer twice. I don't think the deer's still in here, otherwise Tanner won't let us come hunt it. But he was talking about coming and hunting with us just in case, so could be a 185 show up. Let's roll in here. Let's see what we can make happen. Let's see if we can't kill another deer. <laughs> sneaky up in here we're sitting over what looks to be i don't know it's green but there's 185 155 inch 10 the 10 has been daylight a bunch while we were in missouri gun hunting so hopefully we can get it done tonight but we got three or four days to be able to try to knock this out it's a pretty setup big freaking redneck blind all three of us are up in here let's just see what happens guys before we get today's video started i have a big announcement to make and you guys are going to want to listen to this now we have been on the road basically all of december i'm actually in iowa right now of all places but before we go and chase this big illinois deer brainprice.com is now live for the month of december if you guys want to get merchandise for your friends, family, kids, whoever. Now is the time to do it if you want to do it before Christmas and have it for their Christmas gifts. We have absolutely loaded the website down. That's actually not all of it. That's just stuff that we had on hand. But we brought back some of the original designs. We even got beanies now. Plenty of different hat styles for you guys. Some new designs. Check that out. The big Audi. Dude, that is so sick. Some original BP Mudco stuff and some other even better and more awesome designs on the website. But if you guys want them, you gotta go now. Get them for Christmas. BraintonPrice.com. Links in the description. Let's go ahead and slap it into today's video. Guys, we got a freaking nice buck back behind us. It's a nine pointer, not a shooter. 74 yards. That's a pretty damn good deer. Dude, Those, he is literally eating where we walked in at. He hasn't smelled our feet. Julius, I see that right. That's a nine point eight. He's got a five. I think it's a five by four. That's not, yeah, that sounds right. Can you kill Julius? No, I didn't go to high school. He's honestly about the size of the buck we shot. Oh, dude, he's got a kicker on his cheek. Dude, look at his balls. <laughs> look at that dude's nuts, dude. But he's back in. I'm gonna give him the whole Corona Rooney and see how he responds. Well guys, legal time has just ended. We had a doe come running right by us 40 yards. 30, 30 yards at one point. Came out just like a buck was on her ass. Man, nothing. Nothing behind her, so we're gonna get packed up quietly and sneak out of here. And hopefully we follow the corn maze correctly. Catch y'all later. Oh man! Well guys, we just made it to Deer Camp from Missouri. Holy cow, this place is nice. Tanner told me to he sent me an address. I don't even know whose place this is. Oh my gosh, this is nice. Hello? Doesn't look like anybody's home, but uh, dude, this is a freaking crib. Check out the dang bedroom, killer bathroom. Look at these bunk beds. Oh my gosh. So, this is where we're gonna be staying for the next couple of nights. Dude, this is the nicest place we've stayed at so far. Dude, this is freaking awesome. I love how open it is, right? Is nice. Dude, one day we're gonna have something like this, dude. Oh my gosh, build an extreme deer cabin like this. This is badass. All right, well, we're gonna start getting our stuff in. Go grab some dinner, go to sleep, and pick you guys up tomorrow. All right, guys, it is day two of Illinois. Noise. We got the bow. It doesn't feel as cold. The weather's warming up, but we got a little bit of a breeze. It makes it feel a little bit cooler. We're just hoping for the best. We've seen a nice 130, high 30s, yeah. nine point yesterday. But we're after this 155 inch 10. This will be probably my second largest buck ever. Hopefully he shows. Hunting easy right now, going back to the redneck. If we don't have much action tonight, we're gonna get aggressive and probably hunt out of the saddles, but. Let's sneak in here, see if we can find it. Oh guys, we just seen a big buck cross down this valley to our left. We're sitting here paying really close attention. A little buck and a doe just popped out here on the right side. Little deer, very little deer. But Taylor's confident that that was the 10 we were after. So I've been watching this back corner hoping it'll cross through. We basically got this finger of trees, this finger of trees, and this food plot. So we're kind of thinking if they're not hitting this in the daylight, hopping in one of these fingers of trees, and giving it a try. But we're gonna sit here in the morning if this doesn't pan out, watch the deer activity in the morning and try to figure out what's happening. He's going straight to that leg and branch. Let's see if he hits it. It looks like a scrape to me. Yeah. Oh, it definitely is. He's scanning the field. Yeah, he's checking for more does, I guess. Oh, he's coming out in the field, ain't he? He's gonna walk that 
the same path that Doe did yesterday. Right by us. us. Right by us. I mean, if a buck does that, we're solid. 46 yards right now. Dude, you got him? Yeah, he's dead. Dude, that is awesome. How big is he's he? Not, he's a giant, dude. That's Biggest deer of my life. No way. I shot him at 230. Yeah. I must have, like, hit him high or something, shocked his spine. He got up and started running, and I punched him out at 260 on the road. No way. You shot him twice, you clown. <laughs> dude, congrats. Send me some pictures and send me a, uh, drop me a pen, and we'll leave to go there as soon as it gets dark. Sounds good. We'll see you later. All right, man. See ya. <laughs> Tanner just killed a giant. He took the old 6'5 Creedmoor in. He said he broke him down, so I guess he shot high. Dude got up, started going again. He shot him again. He says the biggest deer of his life, so it's got to be a 175. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We still got these does out in this corner. I just noticed there's a ladder stand right above them, so we might just hop into that thing. We'll see. We're going to sit back, finish this hunt out, and we got to go see Tanner's giant deer. Yes. Let's go. Little buck to our left. Three-point monster. Some good deer activity. Yeah, they're moving this evening. I mean, think about it. Tanner killed this early. Yeah. No, just stepped out. Same spot they were last time. Right on a dang ladder stand. Just waiting for antlers to turn that <laughs> wind, dude. Oh my gosh. I just want to see you. Oh, oh. Tear mine. I don't know. That's the same doe he's got to be. I don't know. That's a full grown doe right there. It's the second one's not. Oh, there's three. It's a new doe coming this way. Unless a buck walks out in the next 10 minutes, we're headed to Missouri. There he is, he's in the back. That's him. That's him. I'm about positive it's him. Oh man, what time is it? We got like five minutes, dude. That's gotta be him. Dude, it's gonna be so hard to see to shoot. It's still legal, but this box is so dark. Dude, if we just had 10 more minutes of light. He's a 10, ain't he? Yeah. That's a 10? Yeah. Okay, he's using this blunt though. Oh man, if he had just beeline it for us. The problem is, is where this blind is up, we're just not close enough. Yeah, that's him. That's him. There's no way. That's, the that's a good book. That's the same. Yes, that's a good book. I feel like it's postseason Missouri all over again. <laughs> just, just out of range. Hey. The kid's in the field. I know, we're watching him. Are you gonna shoot him? Dude, he's at the back of the plot. Alright, so Alright, see ya. <laughs> thanks, Tanner. Yeah, thanks, Tanner. <laughs> the tin's in the field. <laughs> Well, guys, we're out of the stand. We're back in the truck. I was just telling Taylor, I was like, we know where he came from and we know where he went. And there's a ladder stand. I seen the ladder stand when those deer were standing on I go, that's where we need to freaking be. So we can go up that ladder stand, throw Taylor on the tree with a saddle behind us, and he could be a dead deer. Now we were going to hunt in the morning. Now I'm a little sketched out. I'm not sure if that's a move we should make, but we got two days left to get this done. We're driving to Missouri. We're headed back. It's so funny because when it sounded like we were only going to hunt Missouri like two and a half days. So, dude, I was not being. Yeah. <laughs> and then Tanner's been in Missouri for like the last four days, but he just killed a absolute giant. I mean, he sent some pictures and it's looking huge. We're gonna go meet up with the guys at the gas station. I'll jump in one truck and uh, roll on. All right, guys. Jesse, what are we doing, big dog? We're going on a deer recovery, deer which recovery. is already recovered. Hey, he shot him with the 6.5. Twice, oh, but we got him. He said he brought a new gun. He sent me a picture of it. I was like, man, that don't look like the 243. <laughs> We're gonna hop in the truck. We're gonna roll on and uh, pick you guys up when we get to Tanner. You what excited, up? dude? Dude, I'm ready to go get huh? pumped up. Uh, we we just ate dinner together for like 45 minutes, but we're gonna go get the deer now, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right, well, he's that way. Dude, look at the clan of people. Yeah, look dude, look so behind me. It's, it's like a whole so crowd. freaking many people. You would think we shot the biggest deer in Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> this is the true Orange Army. So we're still walking. And you can time lapse our walk, hey, hey, but no, you hey, can't. Can we find the deer? Yeah. Last one's the truck's a bitch. Oh, <laughs> dude, that'd be so fun. Over here. <laughs> oh, damn it, boy! <laughs> there he is. Look at that kicker. That's dude, crazy. What a stud. I know, right? That's and the brows, dude. That brow's ever been a nine inches. Yeah, that thing's huge. Unreal. Oh, so look, the first shot was right here and then i uh, shot him on the run after he stood back up i shot him on the run run right through the neck oh you hit him high both here. times oh yeah here's a comparison dude i knew his four was bigger last year yeah his four is huge. more massive he got a longer beam he got a longer brow. beam bigger brow so this guy right here this is had, the guy that should have shot him yes this is the guy that probably <laughs> should have shot him he's had you know four or five years of history with this deer he basically grew the deer for me so props to him <laughs> 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 i got to take him down. <laughs> 
Ranch. And we got to give a shout out to Mr. Ranch Wheeler right. here. He gave me permission to come on here and harvest this big deer. Without yeah. Mr. Wheeler here, I wouldn't have this big deer down. Deal. So, yeah. well, we need to get him pulled out and get some pictures taken. And uh, yeah, we got to get a good picture. Myself. You better you go. Go this. You killed it. No, you, you got killed it. Dog. Tanner, what have you done besides shooting this thing? Uh, literally nothing. I hung the ground blind today. <laughs> this is what we bring the big boys for. Check that deer hey, out. Tanner, go right we just got ball. pictures taken just care of. That's unbelievable. Do what do you think, Tanner? Well, finally, we finished the... <laughs> he's a tank. I know, he's a giant. <laughs> Look at that oh brow. I mean, that's nine inches. Well, on that my scale, ginormous. that's like 19 inches, but... Oh, we're wrong side of the ruler. <laughs> high 70s, low 70s. Hey, Joe. I think he's high 70s, honestly. Booner. No doubt. Booner, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> With the 6'5". Hey. It actually got it done. Yeah, but here we are. All I needed was a little extended range and it put them right down yeah. on the second shot. <laughs> yeah. A little more uh, kinetic energy, eh? So yeah. next time I'll be seeing you is Iowa. We're going to Iowa. Iowa. Well, we got a couple days to finish off Illinois. So then we're going to did, Iowa to did shoot some see deer. Your buck My shooting yes. buck came in tonight. Yes. So two more days of hunting, then we're off to Iowa. That's going to be gnarly. Well, yeah, let's get them taped out. <laughs> Last one to the trucks, a bitch! like five people. Nobody else understood the sign. Oh, he fell! Here, help me up. <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> oh, he's in the 60s. Yeah, yeah. he's going oh, in the 60s. Yeah. It's whether or not he's going to be in the 70s. I'm going to say 171. Any other deer would have brows like I think it's two eights. Five and four eights. Four and five eights. Four and five eights. <laughs> Four and five eights. Uh, February to February first, March thirty first. Yeah, Eighteen and three eights. Oh, Come over oh, here. Here's Jesse. Come over here, school keeper. One sixty seven and five Damn. eights. Oh. Damn. Oh. Who was the closest? I said one seventeen. I was way off. <laughs> <laughs> one sixty seven and five eights. We're running back to Illinois. We got a ten point to chase. So uh, hopefully in the morning we'll catch them slipping up. I might grab a crossbow. I need a little more range. We're gonna in the evening hunt that backside though. But we're gonna go. Do a, what's the word? You wanna do a morning hunt? Not a morning hunt. A morning, it's not a set. Ob observation. Observation. Observation, that's it. We'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> All right, guys, it's the next morning. Very, very bad night to try to get to sleep. And we've got like three hours, but we're up in the stand. We snuck in here, and boy, I mean, we got great access to this. And we creeped, tiptoed in here on gray light. I mean, we did spook one deer off this left field. I mean, so what, can, what can you do? We're gonna see what happens this morning. And I hope we see some deer. But if we don't, oh well, tonight, we're gonna be in the back corner of this field. Tomorrow's our last day. So, let's hope we make something happen. We're gonna cut back left with that spike on the right. A spike? About to come down yeah, 20 yards from that ladder stand. Oh, yeah, that's the spot. We got three deer back there, two does and a spike. Same spot the buck walked out last night. He's pushing those does, ain't he? I might get a chance to hunt this deer in December for like two days, but we're gonna do what we can now to try to kill him. Look, they're under the ladder stand. See if they eat right there where they were. If this stand was pushed up 50 yards, I mean, it'd be money, but every deer we've seen has crossed in shooting range of that ladder. He's good. I found out last night Tanner didn't shoot a 185 here. He clipped the back of a 170. But I don't think they've seen that deer in a minute. So we get a chance at him. Oh, he's pushing hard, dude. Is he pushing hard? Oh my gosh, he just ran through the cornfield. If a mature 150 gives us the opportunity, basically this 10, which we know is here, game over. If the buck does what he did last night, it's a chip shot. 30 yards. Right here, we're hoping if for we 60. Can, if we can't find a tree over there, I would still sit on the ground. I don't know if I'd do that. I would 100% sit on the ground. Too much risk. If it was a berry last evening and that was our only option, I probably would. I feel like we're almost in that spot. We'll see. We shall see. Well, guys, I feel like this is getting a little repetitive. Other than last night, we did see the deer. This morning, not much, but uh, breaking out the saddles. Every deer we've seen has came in the back of that field. So everything's passing within 30 yards. Everything's coming through a 30 yard gap in the back of that field. We're gonna take the saddles, find a tree, climb up, southwest wind. To me, it looks good. We got two hunts left to kill this deer. Night and tomorrow, I'm not sitting around in the redneck hoping he comes within. Well, two deer have came in close enough to shoot with a bow. So shotgun comes in in two days and that deer would be dead. So. 
doing everything we can. We're gonna sneak in here. Climb a tree where one's sticking. It's the ticket. <laughs> Shimmy our asses up a tree. Let's go. I tell y'all what, that was a cool damn hunt and we didn't even see a deer. <laughs> Is that not hilarious? Bro, I had a good time. You sitting up on the freaking Y of the tree like an Indian. My head was it. 34 feet yeah your head was at 34 feet no we doubt. were up there honestly like i got some deer that i've killed i'm like oh my gosh that was the coolest thing ever this would probably top it all if this pulls together literally tomorrow's our last hunt we're just gonna hunt the evening then we're driving 15 hours back to north carolina we done been 40 hours in this truck on this trip so i have like 55 60 hours in total just on this trip not even including time we drove up two weeks ago when we came up but i'm really looking forward to it i really want to show you guys how this one sticking works because it is so juicy is the juice i'll show you guys eventually but uh that tree we were in it wasn't the best it wasn't picture perfect but it was kind of picture perfect it was a mix it was like ah, hmm, you know it, it, there's there's plenty of opportunity there to try it again tomorrow evening i did not see that buck coming all the way up into the field 40 yards from the redneck i just don't see it happening i could see 60 it'd be a little bit of a gamble i could see him doing 60 but then i gotta use the crossbow um i don't want to put myself in that situation we're gonna try to get close on him tomorrow evening we're gonna send it but for now we're gonna go grab dinner all right, guys, so we had a little bit of a change of plans. Brock, Mason, one of y'all want to help explain? <laughs> we're sitting on the ground. Yeah, we're just going to rough it out. Deer's walking through. It's skirting a plot, pop down on our butts. Hey, it's last day, though. You got to send it. We got this morning and this evening, so sneak in here, get after it, cut the light, see if we can't set up on the ground. 140-inch deer from the ground with a bow? That's fine. I'll take it. Let's try it. seen one doe and we had a spike at eight yards it's been a pretty interesting sit so far not much to show for it dude if this eight comes through here this is gonna be awesome it's finally late enough in the morning that i feel like i can talk to the camera for a second but uh changing batteries on cameras we're gonna sit back get quiet see if we can't kill one <coughs> All right, guys, morning hunt did not go as planned. I had a spike at like eight yards, seen a doe. Now that's even time. Honestly, this might be our best evening yet. Are you feeling that or is it just me? Yeah, yeah, I got a good one. It's overcast, it's windy, and there's a cold front coming in tomorrow night. And you can almost feel it in the air. You know, you, oh, you, yeah. deer hunters know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You can feel, as Through a person, you can feel the front coming. Where, you know, the deer feeling this. Tanner actually went in here, mowed some corn. He said, uh, hey, buddy. He said, what time are you going in? I said, ah, two o'clock. He said, all right, I'm gonna go mow corn. It's like 1.30. We're headed in here. We're gonna get up the tree. I honestly think these deer are gonna be curious from him running the skid steer cutting corn. I think they know exactly what's going on. I don't think they're gonna care for the corn. Like, I don't think they're coming in there to eat the corn, but they're gonna come check it out. I think it's gonna be a good night. Let's go climb a tree. They'll still run this on the backside. And I think now we can shoot into the corn a lot better. I think so. back up the tree. We got a scrape right there and a sketched ass ladder stand that we will not be hunting. This is a good one. Damn, he's up there. We have made it up into the tree. We are chilling in the saddle. This is perfect. This is perfect. Taylor, look down, buddy. How you doing up there? I hear you. There's a scrape right there. I can shoot to about there. And I got this gap right here where he was standing.
Guys, I hate to say it, we did not end up closing on the Illinois Big Ten. Tanner shot his big deer, we didn't get ours. Now that Big Ten point, sadly, he got demolished that gun season. Literally the next day after we left. He got waxed. But if you guys wanna go get merchandise, brainprice.com. This is the first drop we have done in a while and I knew I wanted to get something out for you guys for Christmas. Again, if you guys wanna get your Christmas shopping done, you need to do it now. Because if you wait much longer, I don't know if we'll have the product to your doorstep in time. But if you do it now, we'll get it there. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.